So it has been a long time since I have sat and recorded a video <laughs> to post on Team Babe. Normally I just go live and I just talk and you know that's it. So, um, but it's really late and probably nobody's up except for me. But um, I wanted to talk about coaching. Um, as we are, as we are growing, um, you know, we're, pers we're sponsoring and we're adding people to our team and we're trying to help them jumpstart their business. Okay. And so one thing that I get a lot of is I will have people come to me and they want my help and then I'll, you know, I'll give them a few suggestions and then they go and then, um, you know, they'll say, um, you know, just let me know what you think and then I'll tell them what I think, but then they get, they get their feelings hurt or maybe I'll see something and I'll be like, Ooh, let me, let me reach out to her really quick. Um, just, you know, to tell her whatever. And, and I, and I'll tell someone, you know, I'll be like, Hey, you know, it, let's not use graphics or, um, Hey, let's tweak your wording or, Hey, um, when you're, you know, when you're posting about this, you know, try doing yada, yada, yada. And, and I'm getting the reactions that I'm getting from people are, um, they get upset and they get defensive and they feel like they have to justify, um, what they're doing. Okay. And so this is the thing with coaching. Okay. First off, you are your own boss and this is your business. So you can do whatever you want, but in the role of a sponsor, whether you are taking, whether you're sitting here taking this, um, you know, as I'm speaking to you or you're, you're applying yourself in my position and, and thinking about your teams downward. When someone has joined under us, they joined under us because they felt that we could show them the way to success. Okay. And sometimes their idea of success and what we know about advancing kind of kind of butt heads or maybe it's just that they're just not experienced with it or maybe you know you just have you just have an idea that you want to share with them okay when people join under us they join because they are trusting that we will help them be successful we can help them meet their goals and if you're seeing something in your downline that is wrong flat out wrong, or maybe something that they can improve on. Maybe they're, you know, taking a selfie and the light is behind them. And you're like, you know what, if I can get them flipped around, their selfies are going to improve a million tenfold because we know good pictures and good lighting are what propel our, propel our business forward and get people paying attention, right? If you see that and you are sitting there and you're like, oh, oh I want to tell them something, but I'm just, I'm too scared. You are doing them a disservice. You are doing them a disservice and you are doing yourself a disservice. You are doing yourself a disservice as becoming a leader and taking that initiative into becoming a leader. And you are doing your, them a disservice by not fulfilling your promise to lead them to success. Okay. Now. Sometimes when you have to go and you have to tell girls like, hey, this is not the right way to go about this. If they're being, you know, super salesy, here's my link, help me, help me, you know, meet my product reward goal or help me do this. And that, that wording, you're just like, oh my gosh, like that is just going to turn a million people up and you allow them to continue on that path. Not only are you not holding your promise, but you are not empowering them to do better in their business. You are not motivating them. Actually, you are probably helping them believe that they can't do this. Okay. So it is our job as a sponsor and a leader to reach out to our downlines and say, Hey, this is the suggestion I have. I just wanted to, I just wanted to, you know, let you know, I noticed this, here's a way to fix it. Um, if they get upset over that, and I run into that all the time, if they get upset over that, that's okay. You know, um, I am one of those really weird people who someone can, um, I can have a leader 
message me and critique me, I could have a leader rip me to shreds and it will motivate me. It will not hurt my feelings. It will motivate me. Um, when I, I was a blue status presenter and I was getting so just like so discouraged and so unmotivated and I just, I didn't know how to handle, um, the liquid foundation was completely backordered. It was out of stock. You couldn't even get it. it this went on for like six months. So I am yawning it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> um, and I was just super, super negative and, um, my upline didn't, she didn't really know how to help me and um, her upline didn't know how to help me and her upline didn't know how to help me and so it went all the way up the chain to mascara millionaire sherry brown and sherry called me and she ripped me a new one she totally did and i was thankful for that because you know what at the end of that conversation i literally grew so much i am able when people are critiquing me um, and I will even ask for critiques too. I mean, I, I just had Sherry in here the other day. She was looking through my VIP group and my team page and, um, she was looking at, um, an old party that I did and she was saying, you know, try this, do this, do this, do this. And I'm like, boom, I'm on it. Okay. Um, she is not telling me that to hurt me. Okay. If your upline is coming to you and they're giving you a suggestion, Stop taking it personal. They are not doing it to hurt you. They are doing it to help you, okay? If they see something that could be easily improved on or that you could tweak or, you know, maybe you could, instead of taking taking pictures in the light like this, you do like this, it'll help. If they are giving you a suggestion, stop taking it so personal, okay? It is not to harm you. It is to help you grow your business. You signed up underneath your sponsor because you wanted them and you trusted them that they could help you succeed. And if your sponsor sees something that might be hurting your success, maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's a lot of it, but if they see something that they're like, oh my gosh, I was doing that and it totally killed my business, whatever, and they don't tell you, that is more, that might be pride wise that might be beneficial to you for a few few minutes but in the long term it's going to hurt hurt you okay so don't get so um don't allow your emotions to to overcome um a lot of times you know sometimes i will get feedback and i have I have girls and they, they get so upset and they'll even get mad at me. I have some girls who just, they get so mad at me. <laughs> um, but it's not to hurt you. It's not to hurt you. It's really not. Um, if there's something that I see, um, and this goes for anybody in my downline, even if you are five, six levels deep, if I see something, if I see you posting graphics, I'm going to message you about posting graphics. If I, you know, if I see like you're struggling with lighting, I'm going to be like, hey, let me help you. Okay. Um, I personally am just like a very, you know, direct person. I mean, you guys know this. Hello. Like you've been on this team page, <laughs> but, um, I just, I wanted to make a video about, um, coaching because it's a really hard, it's really hard to be coached. It's really hard to be coachable. Um, I, I was just kind of, just kind of that red type personality who, if I'm doing something wrong, I want someone to tell me because then I can fix it and then I can do better. Um, but there are a lot of girls who, they do take it personal. Um, but if there is something, if there's something going on that your sponsor is coming to you about, try to just kind of stop and take a big deep breath in let your chest get all tight, hold it until, you know, it feels like you can't suck in anymore. Hold it for 10 seconds. Can I go yawn again? <sighs> hold it for 10 seconds and then exhale. Just stop, breathe, take a minute and exhale. Um, coaching is not, I mean, it, it's not to hurt you. It, it really is to make you better. Okay. Because if you are so convicted in the way that you are doing things and you are telling your sponsor like, well, 
I don't need help with that because da 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 and you just defend it. That's really a, a response from someone who knows everything, okay? Um, and if you're anything like me when you join this business, I didn't even wear makeup when I joined this business, so I had a lot of coaching that I needed, <laughs> okay? I, I didn't know how to be a leader. Um, I, I'm still not perfect at being a leader. Um, I try. We do the best that we can. But if there is someone who has been doing this a long time, who has been, you know, doing it more than we have, or maybe someone who is higher than us, even someone who is lower than us. I have learned so much from girls who are lower ranking than me, okay? But if, if, if someone is coming to you and saying that there's something that they think that you could, um, that, that they could help with, don't take it personal. They're not saying that your entire business is wrong. They're not saying that you are doing a horrible job. They're not saying that you're, you're, everything that you have done ever is wrong. Take it for what it is. If they are telling you um, stop using side lighting like this, they're not telling you that every single picture that you've ever taken is wrong. They're trying to help you make all the pictures that you are going to take better. Why? Because if you're taking pictures in bad lighting, half of your, more than half of your people are just going to keep scrolling because it's not really showing anything. You do not see good lashes. You cannot see good lashes like this. But if you do this, see? Okay? So, um, random little, random little tidbit about coaching. Try not to take it so personal. It is not an attack on you. It is not an attack on every single aspect of your business. It is not, um, it's not to make you feel bad. It's to help you. Okay. Um, some, some things on giving on, if, if you are in the position where, um, you need to coach your girls. Um, a, a thing that I try to always do is, um, do a sandwich critique unless someone's like specifically coming to me, um, and a sandwich critique, critique, <laughs> critique is something positive, what they need to work on, and then something positive to end it with. Okay. So positive, what they need to work on and positive. Um, again, coaching is one of the hardest things about building a team, I think. I think it really, really is. Um, it's probably one of the biggest things that I least like doing. I There are some times that I will just get like a pit in my stomach and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to get so mad at me. They're going to, you know, do this, do that. But I do it anyway because if, if, Maybe they don't listen to me right in that moment, but if they listen to me or if my my suggestion plays later on and it helps them, then it was worth it. Um, now, if you are trying to coach one of your girls and you're just not getting through to them, message your upline. Um, it might be that you that they just don't communicate the same way. It might be that they just need to hear things a different way. Um, but yeah, so, okay, coaching, hope that was sort of helpful. <laughs> um, coaching's hard, coaching's really hard. Whether you are on the giving end or you are on the receiving end, it's hard. It's hard to have to, it's hard to have to go to someone and give them, um, give them suggestions. And it's also hard to have to listen to someone give you suggestions about something that you're doing and that you're working really hard in. But um, if you want to grow in this business, you need to be able to do both. You need to be able to receive coaching and you need to be able to give coaching too. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a message anytime. And I will talk with you girls soon.